Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to print multiple images or pictures on one sheet of paper. It's actually very easy to do. And we're here inside of the Elements Organizer. This is Elements 2025, but this works on earlier versions of Elements as well. Same process. We'll start off with just one picture right here. I'll take this dog picture upper left-hand corner. And we'll be going up here to the File menu. Come down to Print. Let this open up. Here we go. Now, left-hand side, you'll see all the images that you've selected. We have just the one right now. Right-hand side are all of your different printer settings. The one you want to look at down here is number four. This is Select Print Type. We have three options, Individual Prints, Contact Sheet, and Picture Package. It's Picture Package that you want. And then down here, we have Select a Layout. Lots of different potential layouts in here on what you want to print. Two 3x5s, two 4 by 6 two 5 by 7 Clear down to some of these packages, one 5 by 7 and two 35 by 5s and so forth. So lots of options in here. Let's just do two 4 by 6s and then scroll down just a little bit right here and choose Fill Page with First Photo. And it will put as many pictures as it can onto your page. Where it says Crop to Fit, if your image isn't exactly this size, it's going to enlarge the picture so it fills the 4 by 6 area in this case. Let's just uncheck that and I'll change my scale here. And notice up here, this is 5 by 7 and the outline there, the blue outline, that's the actual 5 by 7 size. And notice how this picture is a little bit too short for that. So it's not filling the whole 5 by 7. If you don't care about that, then that's fine. If you do care about that, just do crop to fit. It then enlarges the picture just enough to completely fill that 5 by 7 area. And the same thing for your different sizes in here. There's an outcrop to fit. Notice how it's not quite wide enough to fit into that 3 by 5. And with crop to fit, it enlarges it to fill that whole area. So normally crop to fit is the right choice on these, unless something on the edges is critical to have in your print. You can then print additional copies if you want to. You know, multiple copies, that's up to you. And this is just for printing just the one picture. Let's just look at one of our fancier ones right down here. We'll do one five by seven and six two by threes. There we go. So it will fill a lot of images in here, put a lot of images onto one sheet if that's what you're looking for. Let's say though that you had more than just one picture. At this point, I could add in more pictures over here or we could choose them first and then add them in. That's more likely, I'll cancel this. So let's say I had this picture and I wanted to add in this picture. If you hold the control key down, you can select multiple pictures. Say I want to bring the one down here as well. These are three different dog pictures. Let's go back up to our print dialog box, file, come down to print. And it's going to be printing, as you can see here, filling up the page as much as it can for your selected print size. This is individual prints. The first two pictures over here on the first page. And then here's our second page with the next picture. Let's say though that I wanted to have the picture package. There we go. And we'll set this one for one of these fancy ones. Here's four, three and a half by fives. And then we're not actually getting that. It says four, but we're only seeing one and I'm not seeing any additional pages. So what you need to do is come down here just a little bit and choose fill page with first photo. There we go. Now we're seeing all four pictures on that page. And then if I go through my pages, here's our second set of pictures and here's our third set of pictures. Let's set this back just to a smaller image right here, two four by sixes. One more thing I want to point out right in here, it says select a frame. Interesting little trick. Right now it says none. But there are a lot of these additional frames in here. Here's our antique oval frame like that. And it applies that to all of the images. If I go through, you can see, there we go. It applies to all the images. There are lots of these. There's an antique rectangle. Here's a rose garden effect. Here's a painted edge. Down here, wild oak. So lots of these frames. Now one thing about these frames, you can see it right here. The frame is sitting on top of your picture. So the picture actually is getting cropped in a bit by the frame sitting on top. Just keep that in mind. If you have any content that is out along the edge that you want to keep, then maybe using a frame is not going to be the best way to do that. I'll go back here to none again. Let's now see how this works with that real fancy set. Let's come down here to one five by seven and four two and a half by three and a half. There we go. Since we're filling our page here with the first photo, everything's on one page and we have three pages, one page for each one of our pictures. When you're happy with that, just click the print button and it will then send all those pages over to your printer. If you want to learn a lot more about how to use the Photoshop Elements Organizer, I have a large section all about this covering everything in the Organizer in my complete course for Photoshop Elements and I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up on that. I really appreciate that and it does help my channel out. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you next time.